Alright then, so, hello and welcome back to what may be the last episode of High Mario World. Um, Kaizo's Evil said that there was, like, there wasn't much left to the game, but that it was really hard. Hopefully not TAS hard, but... Oh, I believe I have loaded the wrong state. <laughs> okay, let me... Alright, so yeah, I was being an idiot. Let's turn idiot mode off now, and get back to the actual game. No handy message block this time to tell me what's what. So let's see what's in the door. Okay, and I suppose there is a handy message block this time to tell me what's what. I'm not allowed to tell you that the mint colored block gives you lies. Wait, Wendy harnessed the sun just to make mint powered thwomps? Well, mint is the best way to make thwomps. Oh, wow. Mint really is the best way to make plumps. Those guys are huge. Wendy's breath flavored weapons are. I mean, whatever that means. Breath enhancing weapons are. really making a mess of me. Alright, so that's just a very precise jump. Okay, I can't touch the sides either. That's bad to know, I guess. It, it's good to know it, it's just bad that it happens. Alright. So let's just scope it out for now. Oh, there's just one of them this time. That's not too bad. Depending on how much leeway I get here. Oh, wow, I'm an idiot. Alright, that first jump there is pretty precise. Alright, please don't kill me. Okay, it didn't kill me. Is this one of the blocks I can't hit from the sides? No. It just appears to be a block. I'm not sure what it's good for, but... Ugh. Okay. <laughs> well, I've got to stop at the end there. Oh yeah, right, the whole... Yeah, I'm being dumb. The message block told me that thing gives me lives. <laughs> I was wondering why my lives had suddenly jumped to 98. That's because I kept running around and whacking that block all over the place and not knowing what I was doing. Alright, so this thing is a case of I wasn't reading the flipping sign there. <laughs> Free max lives. This isn't uber tight, I don't have to time it going in. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, part of the reason why I'm, I got caught there last time too is because there's a little bit of lag that's there at the start. It seems to disappear halfway through or something. Because it seemed to speed up noticeably there about halfway through that thing and just before I was going to reach the end and get crushed by death. And by crushed I mean run into saw blades because that's what crushed means for sure. I swear my jump is going higher sometimes than other times. Free life block. Yeah, free lives. I wonder if I get the lives by standing on top of it too. There we go. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Yep, I get them for standing on the top of it as well. Ah, oh, gosh. 
Yeah, maybe I want to make a practice state there to figure out what I'm doing before I take a real attempt. Oh, wait. I see what's happening with that floor there. It's speeding me up. No wonder. It's not lag. It's actually a deliberate design choice. Alright, so I didn't go and do everything off camera. I I just wanted to get a general feel for what I was actually supposed to do. And it's not that, because you know. Alright, go to the second one. You end up down there. Seems like you just fall to the bottom and don't bother me again, which is okay with me. Of course, it feels like you're going to bother me later, so that's not okay with me, but... Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> well, that's not what I was supposed to do. Well, that was close. Alright, so let's just take a look at this for a second. Well, I can take a look at it from in here anyway. I, I know my time is kind of low, but... I figure it's better to look at this in Russian blind. So I hit this and fall through. And then if I hit the switch one more time, I fall through the green. So that allows me to pass through into the center. But I can't hit Wendy very nicely from there. Because the blue things are still up. So that's when I need to hit the one on the other side and then... Okay. And then I can jump over and end up back with inside the battle arena, so that's when the real fun begins. Okay. Uh, Wendy came up directly underneath me. I may be able to skip a step, though, if I'm careful. I'll have to give that a shot. There we go. Alright. Oh crud. I hate that. <laughs> all all the instant death traps, like right when I enter a room. There we go. Alright. Hopefully not messing it up this time. Right away in two seconds. No. Oh. And right. Let's go. That's close. Oh, rats. I wasn't paying attention to the one obstacle there that would kill me. Yeah. Alright, so I figure I'll just uh, show everybody what I'm doing for practice so they don't miss out, but I think this will go down a lot faster if I oops, get to restart a lot faster. For this part, at least. So I'll go back and do for realsies afterwards, but I at least want to beat it once on a practice state to make sure I know what I'm doing. What works, what doesn't, that sort of thing. Okay, that doesn't work uh, after all because I've got the spike to worry about. Oops. There's a lot of stuff flying around through here. I hope it's not luck reliant in any way. That would just be a pain. Doesn't look like it will be, but I can't be entirely sure. Can I walk through here? Oh, I can kill it. Nice. I was lucky. Sometimes when you spin jump on something as it's right next to the platform, it just kills you instead of bouncing you. Alright, so it went and died. So I'm going to go on the first time. Jump the gun there. <laughs> Neat. I swum in the thing for a second. Why isn't that guy moving now? Okay, this is weird. I also didn't fall through the ground. Okay. 
Okay, good. He went and killed himself earlier today. Because he's being my pal. Right, let's, let's just rewind that quick. Stand on the right side of the pipe. Okay, that's not where I stop. I stop in the next one. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can just... I can run that through that a lot faster than I was doing. Yeah, I'm overthinking this big time. I actually can just run through. I keep wanting to stop when that Koopa comes up. I keep forgetting my moment of uh, safety there. Alright, so now I open up that for the last time. I can't stand... I can't run into that post. Oh. I gotta stay on the block, I think. <laughs> well, that doesn't work. Let's try spin jumping. Yeah, that makes sense. The issue is, she keeps spawning over in that one I can't hit her in. I'm just wondering how I'm supposed to avoid that. to Or fix it. Well dang, it also turns out that I have to hit her a, quite a few times. I pretty much gotta luck manipulate this, I'm pretty sure to make it feasible at all. But thankfully I can do physical luck manipulation. Like, just by making sure I do the same things every time. All I have to do is find a pattern that's fast enough. Well, uh, how did I do that? <laughs> Wait a second, what happened? Yeah, there's a lot of ways to randomly die in this fight. Alright, so I took a short break off camera to go and figure... Uh, one second. I took a short break off camera to go and figure out Wendy's pattern. It's a bit of a trial and error boss. There's pretty much no way to have the foresight to actually beat Wendy on like the first or second try. It, you kind of have to go at it for a while and figure out the pattern before you have any shot. So yeah, I was definitely uh, abusing save states to the max in order to actually figure all this out. So now that I can do a legit attempt. Oh, it's a little hot out today. I hate hot weather. It's annoying. I'm not one of those people who likes the summer that much. Alright. So just a quick word. I, I actually timed my jump past this left spike. Because otherwise the piranha plant uh, will come out too early and that can actually do me in later. It's kind of like one of those adventure, old adventure games where you can make a mistake half an hour in and then five hours later you find out, oh wait, shouldn't have done that, gotta restart. It's kind of annoying that way. But there you have it. Alright, now I can go. Gotta manipulate this guy down the hole here. Alright, here's another part that's gonna require some explanation for me. Uh, there is a way to do this in a not very luck reliant manner. If I, if I uh, just left the switch differently and went into that green thing, well actually I could even leave the switch the same, but if I went to the left where that green thing is, then I could, uh, you know, not die. And half the time when I, Wendy comes up in the wrong spot. But the problem is that thing randomly kills you sometimes. I, I have no clue why. It, it, it appears to be a glitch. And I'm not a huge fan of restarting because of glitches. So I 
that's pretty much the one time I actually do use rewinds to go back and uh, redo something is when a glitch kills me. So I'm just going to do it in the luck reliant way and rewind if it fails. Right. I almost messed that up anyway. See, one second. See? Like, I shouldn't die there. It makes no sense. So, there's nothing there to kill me. See, that's that's the other problem. Hang on, wait one second. Oops. I want to try something. There may be a way to do that without cheating or luck reliance. Let's turn that off. Hey, that works too. Okay, let's just restart. Too much shenanigans for my liking. This jump right here it mainly just serves to make restarting kind of tedious. Not sure why it's there. It's just a little bit more precise than I'd like it to be. Unless there's a supposed to be another way through and I'm just doing it wrong, in which case, yeah, that's a thing. This blue guy's pattern is kind of strange. I'm not 100% sure I understand it, but I don't need to, so... Good enough for me. Hit the switch. Ah, oh, crud. I actually think that might make my success going across that gap a little better, actually, which is kind of ironic. Can't hit Wendy here. I mean, that's only judging based off of one data point, which isn't all that great, admittedly, but the hey. Alright, stand here so that the fireball doesn't get me. I can't walk on the on switch here. Uh, if you notice, uh, well, you definitely can't notice, but uh, just a little tiny bit to the right of where Mario is right now is all, another bit of random death that comes up sometimes. I don't know, but... But the pattern I go in always avoids it, so I don't really care. It's just weird. I just have it. It just means I have to stand farther to the left than I might normally. But I think this one might be a hidden pinrana plant, but it doesn't seem to come up when the other pinrana plants do. So I, I'm not 100 percent sure. All right, so wait for Wendy to come up here. See, so to being totally useless. The spike goes back up and comes back down, and then I can hit her again. About the same situation as before. No, oh, slid too far. No, oh. almost got killed by the random instant death there. I think. Oh, whoops, rats, wrong one. Ah, oh, that was dumb. All right, this time we wait. Unlike last time, where I was a nerd. I don't even know what I mean by that, but whatever. Uh, rats. That was poorly mistimed. Kind of bad luck, too. There was a lot more time when I was in the air than when I was uh, on the pipe to get hit by the piranha plant. But for the one moment I was down there, got me. The one thing I like about those uh, piranha plants, the large piranha plants, is that uh, they don't kill you when you jump on them. And they, like, If you jump on a normal piranha plant when it's just on the edge of the pipe, it'll kill you. But if you spin jump on one of those guys when it's just on the edge of the pipe, it's not going to kill you. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, just a little bit not far enough. Well, that was just stupid. Thankfully, this at least isn't too fast-paced. I I get plenty of opportunities to catch my bearings most of the time. That last little bit, which has messed me up a whole pun of, well, a whole pun of times. Wow, a whole ton of times doesn't really give me any forgiveness. Easy to be stupid. Oh, uh, that was close. Oh, that was even closer. Yeah, if you look closely, what happened there was indeed a glitch. I randomly died to walking into the green stuff. And no, the block did not crush me into the ceiling. I just died randomly. So yeah, let's rewind. Oh, come on, those spikes. Ran too far because of it. Dang. Ugh. Ugh. Man.
Why is this? Well, usually I'll, I'll just say it quick. I just usually go beneath that pipe somehow. Sorry, I can't super mash like the TAS does. Ugh. See, that's the problem. That's what happens a lot of the time. I get stuck down here. Banana. There we go, and she's dead. There we go, phew, finally. Don't die to the piranha plants, Mario, that would suck. 16 left on the clock, is that a specific number? I don't know. He said to go till the end of the credits. So that kind of worries me, that there's going to be something else. Very funny. Not a big fan of that kind of humor, but... <laughs> Brawl credits. Not sure what I'm going to do for this part. Try to keep my channel clean, but... <laughs> I can zoom into the top of the screen, then you can see the lyrics anyway, <laughs> even if it's something I suppose you could uh, see in Brawl. Maybe I could just put the Brawl <laughs> theme on, I don't know. Who stands at my side, Wendy? Koopa? Maybe there's some way I can make this song make sense for the story. Some of them are once heroes. Some of the Yoshi eggs? Some of my mortal enemies. Well, that explains why Mario jumps off Yoshi so often. And as we face each other in battle, locked in combat, we shine ever brighter. I got nothing. <laughs> I saw lightning there, a red flash of lightning. <laughs> Backwards note block. <laughs> nice touch. I see a coin at the top. Makes me scared that this is going to be part of an actual level. I don't want to do anything else after beating that boss. Why are you going to be there? Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, that does nothing. Can I go in the fireplace? Well, I'm probably supposed to go to the coin thing. Can I go outside? No. 
ってはい、hope you enjoyed the hack you know what this hack yeah shut up <laughs> you know what I did I enjoyed it there were some annoying moments but I thought it was pretty good overall I'm probably gonna do like a little review thing at the end to tie it all up because you know that's what Moltov did and <laughs> yeah he's the only last player I watched a long time ago so I don't know I'll just copy him <laughs> let's go where am I now Oh wow. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on to Junk Goomba. <laughs> I suppose you don't like a lot of these enemies, do you? <laughs> Random insults everywhere. Dork brother. <laughs> I guess I'll focus it on that one so that. A random block. I don't think most people use a, a zoom as a censorship thing. Most people probably just cover it up with something, but zooms are cool. Windy decoys. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It was all a trick. Every single one of those was supposed to trick me into thinking it was Wendy. I honestly had no idea Wendy's not that much of a plotter, apparently. Nothing good to zoom in on there. I'll probably just zoom in on the ocean. Those dang fishing booths. I'm glad they weren't a big focus of this hack. That would be pretty evil. Homing flame. Yeah. Douche. <laughs> Not really. I. He wasn't that hard to kill. <laughs> Resnor times four. Good thing. Good thing you told me that. I, I do have trouble counting them sometimes. <laughs> the nightmare thwomp. Yeah, definitely the stuff of nightmares. Especially that big red one in the other place. The two in the Wendy's castle weren't that bad. <laughs> no! Ouija! How could you? He was the best one! It sucks to be Ouija! <laughs> Zero of ten, worst hack, wouldn't play again.